Hi, second graders. Welcome to our new unit of geometry where we're working on shapes this week. Next week, we're going to work on fractions, so stay with me. I know there's some extra worksheets this week than we normally have had, but they should take not that much time, so don't fret about that. Just keep going. And if you need help, make sure you find different things throughout your house if you need it would be a similar shape just to use, okay? Well, let's get started. So when we talk about geometry, we think of shapes. There's many different kinds of shapes that we can look at, that we can have. And I have some shapes that I found to show you what some are. So let's start off with, we know what this one is. This one is a circle. That is a shape. This one is a hexagon because it has six sides, so hex means six. You know what this one's called? This one's called trapezoid because it's two sets of parallel, or one set of parallel lines. That's what I meant. Well, four sides. It's a quadrilateral, too. Then we have a rectangle. So there's two sets of parallel sides. And then we have our triangle. It has three sides. Square, which you guys have known me since you were little, but just as a review. This one is a parallelogram or a rhombus, but if you turn it this way, it's like a diamond. This one is a pentagon because it has five sides. So penta means five. So when we're looking at the shapes, these are flat shapes. So make sure you watch the video, um, the videos throughout the worksheet or throughout the slide so that way you guys can know what's going on. Um, but I'm going to use these shapes to try and help us out. So we're going to start with flat shapes and then we're going to move on to 3D shapes. 3D shapes are going to be things like Rubik's Cube and things like that. Like we're not talking about things that are 3D, we're talking only about like the flat shapes. Okay. So starting off, let's start off with this paper that says two-dimensional shapes. Now, on this paper, it says, label each 2D shape. 2D means that it's a flat shape with the proper name. Write how many angles and sides each shape has. So for each section on here, you have to write the shape name, the number of sides, and the number of angles. So to help us out, I posted on the slides different reference tools so you can remember what is a side, what is an angle, what is a face, things like that. So if I look at my basic square, this is a side, one, two, three, and then four. That is a four-sided shape. Now, when we look at an angle, an angle means that it is like the point. So if it's going like this, like the angle is your direction. So what are the points basically that it has on it? So we've got one, two, three, four, four angles. But this first one says a triangle. So let's start with my triangle. Okay. Now we said, okay, we know that it's called a triangle. So I'm going to write that down on the first line. triangle. Okay. Now, the number of sides is, let's look, one, two, three. Three sides. So you're going to write that on your three sides right there. Now, the number of angles, let's count, one, two, three. So there's three sides and three angles. Now here's a clue. The sides and the angles are always gonna be the same, always. So let's move on to the second one. So the first one should look like this. Now this next one, what is that one called? It's got four sides. Hmm, that one is called a square. So I'm gonna write square. Now, now let's look at my square. How many sides does it have? One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna write down four sides. See? 
Now, if it has four sides, how many angles is it? Remember, they have the same amount. So, one, two, three, four. So, there's four angles because there's four sides in a square. See, geometry is really not that hard. You just got to not overthink it. And if it helps you out, either touch the screen to like, if you're not printing these off, touch the screen and count out the sides if you needed to, or if you printed it off, write down your thing. It doesn't have to be like a, a square of anything. You don't overthink it. Now this next one, let's count how many sides it is, and then that way it will tell us how many there is. So one, two, three, four, five. See? One, two, three, four, five. There's five sides. So five means penta. So it's a pentagon. Which is also this shape. So if I have a penta, we said it has five sides. Now, how many angles is there if there's five sides? One, two, three, four, five. Five angles. Now, this last one on this worksheet, see, this one's a super quick worksheet. That's why I gave you a couple extra. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Hex means six, so it's called a hexagon. And we said there's six sides. And if there's six sides, that means there has to be six angles. So now, moving on. Because, yeah, let's count it on this, though, just, just so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six angles. I'm going to erase my worksheet real fast. Now, the back or the other side of that worksheet is called a quadrilateral. Quad means four. Put four fingers up so you can remember four. Four. Quad means four. So anything. There's so, there's a, quadrilaterals means it's a four-sided shape. So if you watch the video on quadrilaterals, it will help you make, make sense too. So a quadrilateral can be a square. It can be a trapezoid. It could be a rectangle. It could be a rhombus or a parallelogram because they all are four-sided. Four-sided, 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 and four-sided. They all are different shapes, but they all have four sides, so they are quadrilaterals. So let's look at this one. This one I said is a rhombus. So rhombus, you spell rhombus, R-H-O-M-B-U. Now, how many sides does a rhombus have? Now, this worksheet's really easy if you get the hang of it. Because remember, if it has four sides, it has to have four angles, right? So, one, two, three, four. How many angles? One, two, three, four. And if every shape on this worksheet is a four sided shape, how many angles should it have? Four. Make sense? Continuing on. So I'm going to let you try the rest of that worksheet out by yourself. And we are going to try out, I think you guys can probably figure out what the different shapes are on this one, but that will be worksheet one. Okay. Now. Get this all put back in my sleeve so I can show you what I'm talking about. 
Okay. So now let's pay, play a little game. It's called Who Am I on this worksheet. It says, read the clues, write the name of the shape being described, and draw a picture. Ooh, that sounds exciting. So it says, I have six sides and six angles. Hmm. Let's look back at our stuff. What could that possibly be? Hmm. Could it be this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, has six. Let's see if it's angle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that one has six angles too. So what is this shape called? It is called a hexagon. So I'm gonna write hexagon. And don't stress about your picture. I'm gonna put that over there and it's, I'm gonna draw a picture. So this one's a little bit tricky. What I like to do is I like to draw a top and a bottom. And then I like to draw like where it looks like this on each side. So just like this part. So I draw like a big, like a very, very separated equal sign. And then I like to draw it like where it's like a, a little beak, but like an opening beak of a bird or something like that. And then I like connect the dots. See, kind of like that. And then I'll draw it on the other side. So is it perfect? No. But does your drawing have to be perfect? No. As I told you all year, you do not have to, I do not expect you to be perfect. I expect you to try your best, and that's all that matters. So now, this quadrilateral one down here, don't get fooled, because there's like so many different options. There's like at least four I can think of. So don't overthink it. But try thinking about the different other ones that are on this worksheet. I'm gonna let you try those by yourself, okay? And if you need help, you know what to do, okay? Also, on the slides, I did not, I don't have it like out, but there is this really cool fun thing where you can draw your own shape characters. So you're gonna turn any of like the, the shapes that I picked for you and you're going to use those and you're gonna make them and turn them into like a little character or a monster. Now you don't have to print that paper off. You can just draw on a regular piece of paper as you can with all the other things, but make sure you're trying to just do something like that. And it would be a really kind of fun thing to do and send it to your teacher because they would love to see it. I can't wait to see your work. I feel like I don't get to see hardly anybody's work. So hopefully you're watching my video and hopefully you'll send me your pictures because I'd love to see your shapes, your shape creatures. Okay, now that's what we got for 2D shapes. I know we've gone fast and I shoved a lot of shape knowledge into just a few minutes. Now we're going to transition away from 3D or from 2D shapes to 3D shapes. Now, 3D shapes, if you've ever gone to like a 3D movie, you know you have to wear glasses to make it look like it's popping off the screen. But anything we have in our real life are shapes and they are 3D. So, for instance, how many of you have ever seen a Rubik's Cube where you you, you can you can twist and turn and all those things, right? This is a cube, just like a dice. These are cubes, these are 3D shapes, which is an important thing to remember. Some more 3D shapes that we're gonna talk about. This is a triangle, or this is a pyramid. Basically, yeah, see? But it's got a flat bottom, but it comes to a point. So then this is a cube, like regular dice, big dice. I've got, this is a cone. If you see, it pretend that comes to a point. See, it's like an ice cream cone, but it's just like a cake decorating thing. And then this, how many guys like to play basketball or any types of sports with a ball? This is a sphere because it's round. See how it's not a circle? It's like a 3D circle. Okay. Another thing. These are just some things I had laying around my house. So, wipes. 
Clorox wipes. A lot of people can't find them anywhere. So if you don't have these at your house, I'm not surprised. But this is called a cylinder because it is round. I <laughs> just dropped it. Round, but it's got two circles on the top and bottom. That's a cylinder. Another thing, this one, Kleenex box. It's not a cube, because a cube is like this, and it has all the sides are the same, right? A rectangular prism is more like this Kleenex box, because it's not a perfect square. Makes sense, right? Okay, now that we've talked about what the shapes are for 3D shapes, you can also watch the 3D shapes video and look at the different reference tools that I put on the slides. Um, also, I can show you these I put on the slides. So we talked about this is a, a rectangular solid is what they called it. But I would call it a rectangular prism, just like this. Um, oh my Kleenex box is falling apart, but this is a rectangular prism. We got the cube, the Rubik's cube. Think of it like that. My cylinder, which is like my wipes. Then I've got sphere which is like a ball. Then I've got a triangular prism, which I couldn't find one at home, so I just am showing you the picture. It's like a big triangle. It kind of reminds me of those, like, I think they're called like Toblerone or something like that. They're like a, a candy you get at the store, and they're like a triangle shape. It's interesting. Okay, and then we got the cone. So think of like an ice cream cone. So like this was the cone that I was talking about. Then we've got the rectangular prism and a or pyramid and a triangular or a rectangular pyramid and a triangular pyramid. So basically the difference is one has a triangle bottom and one has a rectangle bottom. This one has a rectangle bottom or a square bottom. So I don't think that's the same. I think this one is more of a triangular prism, not a pyramid as much. But that's just they're just the three shapes. So we talked about with the 2D shapes, we talked about how they have the edges and we've got, um, well, we have the sides and we have the angles. Now we're gonna translate that when we talk about a 3D shape, we are gonna talk about that in the sense that um, there's, for 3D shapes, so I'm on this worksheet. This one says uh, R, or 7-1. So it says, this is a flat surface. So this whole entire thing right here, this is a, is a flat side, okay? And then that's gonna make up six of these, because you think about it like in, in a dice, there's six numbers on a dice. So there's six sides to a cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Six sides, okay? So on here, it says, this is your flat surface. Then it says two flat surfaces meet at an edge. So the edge, you know what an edge is. An edge is like this line, right? Makes up a bunch of squares. Then we've got two or more edges. So the side, so this side meets up with this side and that makes this thing called a vertex, say vertex, okay? Vertex is kind of a fun word and it basically just means like an angle. So it's like the middle part of an angle. So on here, it says a cube has how many flat surfaces? Well, let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six sides, six flat surfaces, because it's made up of six big squares. See, one, two, they're not the same size, but three, four, five, six, right? There's six, six of these makes one of these, okay? If you put them all together, that's how that would work. So now, a cube has how many edges? Now, with this one, it's a little bit easier. So you can say, 
Okay, look, Ooh, I'm gonna turn it. One, two, three, four. Okay, now without moving it, look, let me figure out how I can show you. It was one, two, three, four. Then I've got five, six, seven, eight. So I did it in the front and the back. You can't double count them. So, oh, this says 12. Eight is the vertices, sorry, my bad. Okay, so 12 edges, because it's four for each one. Four of those, okay? So there's 12 edges. And then a cube has how many points? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, okay? So a cube is the same shape as a black or something else. Okay, moving on. It says, circle the object with the same shape. Write how many flat surfaces, vertices, and edges. Use the solid figure to help you. Now, that's where I was saying that you might wanna find several in your house to help you out. This is why I made this thing. It says the square bottom. If you look on the picture, it looks like it has the square bottom on it. So there's that. Okay, so this is a pyramid. So it says, if we look on here, either a, like, either a tent or an oatmeal container. Do you think this or this is going to be hmm, a pyramid? Well, this is probably gonna be a pyramid. So a tent is probably gonna be more likely. So I'm gonna circle tent. But then I'm gonna say, well, how many does a pyramid have? How many flat surfaces? One. Two, here, let me show you like this. One, two, three, four, five. This isn't a surface because you can't point out to it. So it's five. I think five, that's right. Yeah, five, that was right. Vertices, how many points? How many poke parts? One, two, three, four, five. And then how many edges? Ooh, this one could be tricky. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, one, two, three, four. Does that make sense? So four and four is eight. There should be eight. Five edges, or five flat surfaces, five vertices, and eight edges. Now, a rectangular prism. Hmm, like my Kleenex box. Look, how many, is it gonna be more like an oatmeal container? Or is it gonna be more like a square? <laughs> this is round. Is round gonna be flat? Do you see, no. No, it's not. It's going to be this one. So we're going to circle the cereal box. So a rectangular prism. Let's figure out how many flat surfaces it has. Let's look. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Vertices. How many points does it have? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices and how many edges? So, one, two, three, four, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, and then there's gonna be four on the bottom. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So, 12. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. If not, reach out. I can honestly tell you guys, for me personally, I feel like it makes way more sense if you just um, find something that's similar around your house. Some of them is a little bit more trickier than others to find. 
um, be creative, and kind of go on a shape hunt. Be kind of fun. Okay, let's do one on this worksheet, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So we already talked about the Q. So I'm not going to do that first one. I'm going to do number two, actually, because the number two says a cylinder. A cylinder, remember, is my wipes. No rocks, wipes, really, they're my brain wipes, but that's not the point. They're still a cylinder. Which one, and there can be more than one on this page of what, what can be the same thing, okay? So is this a cylinder? Yeah. Is this a cylinder? Yes. Is this a cylinder? Well, no, that's like a square. Is that a cylinder? It's an ice cream cone. It has a cone in the name. Nope. So I'm a circle soup and I'm a circle pencil cup. Now, how many flat surfaces do you see? See, my hand is like curved, so it's not curved. That's curved. One, two, two flat surfaces. How many vertices? Do you see any points? Points? No, there's no points. How many edges are there? Do you see the edges? Just because there's a flat surface doesn't mean it's an edge. See, it's round. There's no edges. So, we're just going to look that. Now, in the next couple worksheets, you're going to be able to test this knowledge of which shape is which. And you're going to be able to um, test out fill out the shapes um, chart and you can fill out the name that shape. So let's keep going. Let's go on to the one that looks like this. 3D shapes. It's kind of like a 2D one, but just with 3D. So on this one, it's going to make you do four things. The name, the shape, the angles, and how many faces there is. Remember, faces are like the flat surfaces, angles are like the vertices, and the sides are the flat sides, or the sides are the, the edges, right? Okay, so we'll game a cube. We did this one a little bit. That is a cube. The first one's cube, sorry, cube. Second, sides. We talked about this. One, Two, three, four, five, six. There's six sides. No, wait, that's faces. Oops, I messed up. Okay. Your faces is six. There's six faces. Angles is the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sides is going to be edges. One, two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pretty sure Here did that. Yeah, that's right. Now, the cone, this one's a little tricky one. Let's look at the cone. Here's my cone. Okay. Pull it upside down and make it look like an ice cream cone. Let's see. We're going to pretend that this is a point. It's not a point in this specific one. If you look, you can kind of see through it because it's for my mom's cake decorating stuff. Um, but this is the basic concept of it, okay? Um, the cone. The cone is the third one. So I'm going to write cone. And then we're going to do, well, how many sides does it have? Well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see any sides. How many angles does it have? Hmm. I don't see any angles. Hmm. 
Wait. And then the faces should be the flat surfaces. That's one. I feel like it should be, yeah. It should be one angle because the point. To me, that's what makes sense. So. If you have a different opinion, let me know. We can problem solve that together. Not perfect at geometry, but you know I'm doing my best. So go ahead and try those. We'll work on it together if you need to. There is another one where you can say, name that shape. Use these works, these pictures that I posted on the website or on the slide. Sure, I figured that out. Okay. That's important. So there's that. Then there's a couple other worksheets on the slides. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully I didn't confuse you further with some of this stuff. But shapes are not that hard. Just don't overthink them, okay? That's my key piece of advice for you. Okay. Next week, we're going to talk about Fraction. So we're going to be moving fast the next couple weeks because we really have to get through everything we need to. Um, but you know where to find me. Hopefully you all are doing well. I miss you all. Adios.